I then here we are back at the crack deck and with the last video we left off I showed you that if you follow this crack deck straight over the top of the mountain you'll end up at the hippie camp now just under this crack deck says cluck and bell company reception all right and first of all, I ignored reception until I found this out that it led straight to the hippie camp because reception is like it's a place at a business where you know they accept guests and such. But then after figuring out that it went to the hippie camp straight over the mountain, I started to interpret it differently. You know, if there's one thing I learned from Wispy Woods is that there is duality in the symbols and things that you find in the game that can take two different meanings you know but here we are at the hippie camp and here at the hippie camp you'll find the symbols required only the symbols required to spawn the ufo on top of the mountain you got the rain symbol rain symbol number one you got Moon symbol number one, which has the three tally marks like 3 a.m. And just beside the hippocamp, you have the mountain symbol, which you can barely see it. Can you guys see it? Anyways, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Now it's got the wild signal beside it and half an arrow, which I don't really have an explanation for. Maybe. It has something to do with the line going over the mountain connecting the crack deck at Cluck and Bell to the hippie camp. I don't know. But the fact that the wow signal is right beside this mountain symbol made me think differently about reception. Alright. And another definition for reception is the like how you receive radio signals okay and I thought that maybe you know you got the wow signal here at the hippie camp you know maybe we can receive some sort of signal by maybe having a character here at the top of the mountain spawning the UFO and at Cluck and Bell I don't know I just thought I'd throw that in there but the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about we gotta set it to night time to check it out. Let's see. Go away from the area so the lights will spawn. Come back. Why are the lights not spawning? Let's see if we can load it up and get the lights to spawn. But we've all seen Back to the Future. If you haven't seen Back to the Future, please go watch Back to the Future. The lights still aren't spawning. Let's go really far away. And then we'll come back. But at the end of Back to the Future, I think they run out of plutonium or something. But anyways, I got to use lightning to produce 1.21 gigawatts, which you'll see everywhere around the map, even right here at the Hippie Camp. Let's see, right here on the oh, copyright, copyright, no. Alright, 1.21 gigawatts. See these all over the map on these power stations or whatever these little buildings are. But they have something to do with power, obviously, which connects with something I'm going to talk about in a different video. But I think I found out how to get 1.21 gigawatts, gigawatts, whatever, here at the hippie camp. All right, now the lights are there. See these lights? These kind of like Christmas lights? They're strung up all around the hippie camp. And they end right here at one of these arrows. But let's take a look at this. They're strung up all around this tree. It looks like it's been struck by lightning already. <gasps> and the fact that it looks like it's already been struck by lightning may 
mess this whole theory up because you know they say lightning never strikes the same place twice and all that but on back to the future at the end they string up a power line from the top of city hall run it down all right see how it's ran around the hippie camp these lights are up to three different poles around this symbol and around and down to this gateway right here all right and then back to the future they ran power lines a power line straight from the top of city hall and made a gateway across the street for the DeLorean to pass through you know they timed it right so the DeLorean would pass through this gateway as soon as lightning struck and it would produce 1.21 gigawatts for the car and I'm wondering if that isn't the same setup here you know I'm thinking they might be signifying it with these lights going from this tree that looks like it's been struck by lightning to this gateway how much time we got I want to show you guys something else all right maybe we got enough time as requested one of you guys wanted me to set up the props or whatever from these different arrows and I did that for you let's change the day back or time back to daytime all right start with this first arrow right here rig this one up with props but set a checkpoint line to save my props because I didn't have enough props to do all these but we'll follow it for you the only thing about this I never ran across anything interesting so if you want to end the video now you can because I don't really show anything interesting I'm just showing you the line that this there the path that this takes I'm going across the ocean runs into that building there RL Hunter and Sons right there's where you use the spectrometer with Michael but doesn't really go across anything interesting goes on the other side of the mountain Let's see where's that checkpoint right here never goes across anything of real interest you know and everybody believes that it's pointing towards the hippie camp but it's actually not show you right here because there's the line right here it points to the left of the hippie camp but I also know what happened to my checkpoint I had a checkpoint right here too motherfucker anyways I guess I'll have to show you guys that in a, another video but Damn it, what happened to my checkpoint? Two, one, two, three. All right, well, I can fix it real quick. Take checkpoint number three. Because I've already got the checkpoint at the other spot. So we'll put this checkpoint here. We can follow the line. Put it right there. All right. Now this one it goes across a lot of sandy shores, but I never really saw anything of interest that it ran straight in line with. But you can slow this video down, pause it in certain sections if you want to to check out the different locations. But now we're going across the sea again. It does point straight at this place. Which I don't know if there's anything going on there. I've looked around there, didn't really find too much. But following the line, it almost points at the Altruist camp, but not quite. It goes right through here to this spot. Not really pointing anything. And I also did one for you. at the uh, the satellite 
I made one of these lines and this is how I do this I put one of these really huge blocks up I turn it 90 degrees straight up and down and I just snap the blocks on but here we have that checkpoint there on a straight line with it this is where the satellite points it does point at this little spot which I thought was interesting got a unique antenna there but we'll continue on going across the airport and it also points didn't really find too much interesting there it points at Stab City goes across Stab City there and then through I forget which mountain this is but nothing really of interest along the way but there you go as requested those lines anyways I'll holler at you guys in the next one and we'll talk more about Cluck and Bill I think in the next one holler